Hey, how's it going? Thanks for taking the time of your day to watch this video that I made for you. In this marketing analysis, I'm going to show you exactly how much business your website's bringing you versus your top competitors and show you how to dominate local online searches when someone's looking for roofing services in your area. Um, so as you can see, we're on my business page. My company's AMP Local. We're an internet marketing agency, and this process is called search engine optimization. We're optimizing your site for these Google searches, all right? We're getting them prepared for Google to show you versus your competitors. All right, so as you can see, we're on your page. Um, so as you may already know, 90% of people, when they need a service, they're gonna use Google to find it. And 96% of them are gonna click from the very first page of Google. So you wanna be on the first page and at the far to the top, and I'm gonna show you why. So in the three major cities that you service, uh, Centennial, Aurora, and Brighton, Colorado, um, every single month, someone's looking for your services anywhere between, you know, 2,000 up to almost 3,000 times per month. So the potential market is huge. Um, and as you can see, we're able to target all the actual keywords people are searching to find your services. So roofing contractor, roofing, or, you know, roofing companies, metal roofing, flat roof repair, roofer, uh, commercial, residential roofing. I mean, the list goes on. So we're able to find the keywords that people are actually searching that we want to rank you in. And again, the potential market, 2,000 to 3,000 a month in those three cities. Um, so this is how much business your website's getting right now, all right, zero. That's from these actual searches, all right? Um, so obviously we, we want to increase that. So I went in, um, I went into Brighton, Colorado Roofing. I did see that you were ranked um, at the top of the maps and two organically, okay? In this city, there's not much roofing uh, leads coming out of it, unfortunately. But in the other two cities, this is where you're verified. Your business is Google verified here, and I'll, I'll talk about Google verification here in a second. Um, but in the other two cities of Aroa and um, Centennial, there is a lot more business here to be had. Um, and I think just in um, also in Brighton, you're not ranking in many of the keywords. You're only ranking in like roofing and one other one. Um, so you want to target more than just one keyword, all right? You can only do that if you know how to do it, right? Um, so for this search for Aurora Colorado Roofing, um, your top competitor is Pinnacle Roofing Solutions, okay? These guys are getting about 28, almost 30 hits per month right now, okay? Um, and in Centennial Colorado Roofing Company, your one of your top competitors is jury bros roofing okay and they're getting around 16 a month so this is still i still consider this low-hanging fruit just because these companies they don't know what seo is and they haven't invested and found the right guy to do it for them so um there are so many i mean i just showed you the potential two thousand or three thousand times per month um and and i'm showing you all the keywords so i'm going to show you the process that we go through to um, rank higher on those searches uh, especially for the the areas that you're servicing so that you come out on top versus your competitors uh, in those markets. So um, the first thing I'm going to talk to you about, there, so Google's algorithm, it has 200 determining factors, but I'm only going to talk to you about four of the most important ones. The first thing I'm going to talk about is being mobile friendly. 80% of people are going to look at your website through a phone, so iPhone or Android, so you, your website has to convert. So to me, it looks like this looks like a WordPress site, so I'm pretty sure it's mobile friendly. I mean, so I did the mobile friendly test and it is mobile friendly. So that's very important. I wanted to knock that out and show you that we can move forward because Google did um, release an update that penalized a lot of people that were not mobile friendly. Next, authoritative content. So Google wants to know, are you mentioning all your services, all, your, all the keywords in the cities that you service on the home page? So you want to have 1,000 to 2,000 words um, on the home page. All right. So right now it looks like you have you know maybe 200 words right here that's about it so all these services all the keywords that we're going to rank you for definitely want to mention them on the home page and have it like i said at least 1000 2000 words so let me show you what authoritative content looks like um i went to google and i typed in elephant elephants notorious or wikipedia is notorious for being number one for these searches because of their authoritative content so as you can see this page has 50,000 words on the evolution where elephants eat, where they sleep, I mean everything. So about, let's say about this much information, let's see what it looks like. Probably about this much, I would say. 1,500, somewhere around that ballpark. That's that's kind of like what we're looking for, a good chunk of information of unique content so Google can pick you up and see that, to rank you for those keywords. 
All right, so you get on top of those searches, so you beat your competitors. Um, next, I'm going to talk to you about local listings. All right, so I can see that you are uh, ranked locally in Google Maps, right? So you're number one here. So you are Google verified, um, but the thing is, you're not pulling any leads from this. That means that you're not uh, the keyword. The profile may have some errors with it that it's not filled out correctly. I know in the introduction. Google allows you to put 500 words in there for the Google My Business. Um, so that one needs to be keyword rich as well. Um, so that, that page does need to be optimized. Um, and then you also want to see about getting verified in the other cities that you serve. So you get in Google. So they have citations. Um, some examples are like Google, obviously, and Yahoo, Facebook being yellow pages and white pages. There's the list of the top 50 that you want to be ranked in. Uh, or be listed in so we'll make sure that we get those citations that are like online directories pretty much um, and we want to make sure you have a hundred percent accurate profile and just by looking um, it's not 100 percent so um, that's something that we're definitely going to be taking a closer look at um, especially if we're going to rank you locally in the other uh, you know cities that you serve as well because you're not I mean you're not at the top of, of any of these either so um, so real quick, I didn't mention, you know, Google AdWords, if you're running an AdWords campaign, which um, I don't think you are at the moment, um, that controls about 20% of all the clicks. The maps control about 30%, and then the organics control, you know, 40 up to upwards of 50%. So that's kind of how the, the breakdown goes. Um, so moving on. Um, so backlinks, let's talk, talk to you about that. So influence. Uh, influence pages or backlinks these are very important so Google is a popularity contest truly it's it's like running for president the more votes you have the more chance you're gonna win the presidency right um, Google wants to know is are you popular all right so this is saying there's 81 links pointed to your site right that's 20 that's 81 uh, websites mentioning you but the trust flow is zero that's the quality of the website so at a zero you're low quality okay you want to be high quality above 20 all right so um, all of the links that we can build for you are all above 20. So let me show you, um, let's see, I'm going to show you one of your top competitors. I'll pull this guy. No, that's you. Let's go back to this other page. So these guys right here, let me just kind of give you an idea. They're in a more populated area and they're ranked high and you're, you're not listed on, the, you're not in those rankings at all. So as you can see, they got 28, but their trust level is at 8, so it's higher than you, right? All right, so they're actually they're meeting low quality, but not quite medium quality. So these are obviously you know a lot more lower populations. So let me show you some of our clients that we've targeted in huge populations. Uh, San Diego, 3.5 million people, right? Used auto car dealership. When we first took them, they were ranked. They were on page three. So for San Diego auto dealers. Um, for this major keyword search, we've got them to rank three organically and then number one, I'm sorry, three in the maps and number one organically. This is huge um, in a 3.5 million population. So let me show you the power of this website that we built for them. Um, so 74 links, trust flow of 23. So as you can see, 23 is above the 20, so high quality. That's the type of power you can expect. So let me show you another one. So this is another client they do. Uh, party bus limousine downtown San Diego um, and we built out this site for lead generation in another part of San Diego and ranked it number one map uh, organically and it's just dominating the maps alright so this service is also available to you we're able to build you out um, you know custom websites in any city and rank them very quickly just and then all the leads go straight back to you alright we route them all back to you so 19 links trust level 21 so this is the type of power, again, you can expect. If we built out these lead generation sites, they'll be very powerful. They'll rank quickly, and they'll pull a lot of leads back to you, and it'll bring this number from zero dramatically a lot higher. All right. So that pretty much concludes my analysis. Um, I appreciate the time you took to watch this. I hope it made sense for you and your, your uh, business. Uh, my partner and my team are looking forward to partnering and building a relationship with the roofing, roofing company in your area to bring more leads to the business. Um, so if this makes sense for you, please reach back out. You have my information. Um, again, thank you for watching this video and you have a nice day.